Charlotte Villa Park and Aston Villa 1, Manchester United 2. Um, been the result of an absolute shit weekend, if I have to say. I mean, last night was just a complete piss up. Um, you know, a lot of shit happened last night. We'll, we'll, I can't go into it. Let's just say we had too much to drink. But, um, yeah, it is what it is, and it? it is what it is. I mean, we've got to have a bit of realism. It's Man United. They come back into form. It was always going to be a hard game. They've got a good away record at Villa Park. Um, you know, it was only like last season where we actually beat them. It's been like, I don't know how many years. It's been quite a few years since. Um, but, yeah, I mean, starting from the fi the first kickoff, obviously, you know, Man U are definitely the better side. And once they did go 1-0 up, we just, we just dominated them. We just absolutely dominated them. And we just really wanted that equaliser. And you cannot criticise the commitment from the lads today. Um, the only thing I could say is sometimes it is okay not to be so slow on the ball. Like I know it is sort of our system to play slow football because it will get better results because you're not rushing it, are you? But I think sometimes it, you have to. When you're chasing an equaliser or the winner, you have to. Um, and that's all I could say. But you know I don't really want to question Emery's tactics because he's, he's a great manager. Isn't he? um, but yeah, once we obviously got the equaliser, we just... The ball was just getting absolutely pelted at the keeper coming in. And, you know, it was definitely one of them games where it could have either... It, I know we dominated it, but it could have just gone either way. So, it is what it is. I know I don't look too pissed off, but I think you just got to be real about it. It's Man United. They're, they're not... A, they're, they're having shit form, but they're not a shit side, if you know what I mean. In, in the sense, like, they are, they're going to go for Europe, aren't they? Uh, obviously trying to aim for top four. So, you know, they're a contender other than ourselves. So it was one of them. I mean, it would have been nicer one today to sort of like make the gap bigger, but it is what it is. But also just wanted to say Roy Keane wanted to come on the video to say his reaction to the game and obviously the celebrations from the Manchester United fans coming in. Celebrations, listen, slight, slightly over the top, but... But while we are talking about it, I do want to say I didn't mention... Uh, this particular aspect of the Chelsea game in the FA Cup. Lee Dixon's comments in that game was absolutely disgusting. I'm not going to go over everything, but it's just, through a commentator, absolute shit from him. But what's annoying me tonight is, we're playing Manchester United and we've got a Manchester United fan commentating. It's really, a, it, it really does annoy me. Gary Neville, I, I, don't, I don't think, you know, I think he's all right. I think he's okay. But still, why, why are they doing this to us? Like, it's, it's so rare that we get a Villa commentator commentating on the Villa game these days. It's just, it's one of them that really do annoy me. Um, but yeah, that's all I could say, obviously. At the end of the day, we've lost the game today. I'm sure we're going to get a lot of stick in the comment section. So if you are a Manchester United fan uh, and you do want to leave a sensible comment, uh, tell us what you thought about the game, uh, if you think my comments about it are valid. So I do think, you know, obviously we did dominate it it's just one of them it could it's, it's still one of it it's weird because it, it still could have gone either way let's just say it like that so yeah thanks for watching the video guys of the villa the pride of the villa we'll see you in the next video